A Sprag clutch is a one-way freewheel clutch. It resembles a roller bearing, but instead of cylindrical rollers, non-revolving asymmetric figure eight shaped sprags are used. When the unit rotates in one direction the rollers slip or freewheel, but when a torque is applied in the opposite direction, the rollers tilt slightly, producing a wedging action and binding because of friction. The sprags are spring-loaded so that they lock with very little backlash. Applications equals Automatic transmissions equals a sprag clutch is used in some automatic transmissions as a method of allowing the transmission to smoothly change gears under load. Various models of General Motors turbo hydromatic gearbox have used this system. A sprag clutch is used in most older automatic transmissions and some newer ones for shifts which require the synchronized engagement of one clutch with the disengagement of another. Using an overrunning clutch instead of a hydraulically actuated one makes this synchronization automatic. The Sprague clutch simply lets go once the reaction force it provides is no longer needed. In a Simpson gear set, common to many automatics, this happens on the 1 to 2 shift, and reverses on the 2 1 down shift. The 2 to 3 shift is done by engaging a single clutch, and nothing is released. Some newer electronically controlled transmissions make clutch to clutch shifts, without any sprags. This can also be used exclusively in first gear on some autos. That way it will automatically provide forward drive, but will not provide any engine braking. This is done not so much to avoid engine braking per se, but rather to allow a low throttle opening to dash one downshift as a car decelerates, to avoid a loud and unnerving jolt as a result of the downshift. On transmissions so equipped, manual selection of first gear typically engages an additional band that grips the same section as the one-way clutch would engage, and thus allows for engine braking. Equals helicopters equals, a Sprague clutch is used in many helicopter designs to transfer power from the engine to the main rotor. In the event of an engine failure, the Sprague clutch allows the main rotor to continue rotating faster than the engine so that the helicopter can enter a tour rotation. Equals motorcycle applications equals Starters, a Sprague clutch is used in the electric starter motors of modern motorcycle engines to replace the Bendix gear common to automobile starters. Primary drive, many modern sport and racing bikes use Sprague clutches in the primary drive between the engine and transmission. This prevents the rear wheel from losing traction during rapid downshifts when the engine speed is not matched to road speed. If a Sprague clutch is not present, much greater care is required when downshifting, because losing rear wheel traction can cause dangerous high side accidents. Equals conveyors equals, on conveyor drives, a Sprague clutch is used for indexing and anti-run back. Overrunning Overrunning occurs when two or more motors can be used to drive the same machine, including through the same shaft. A typical setup is as follows. The service drive, or prime mover, provides a combination of high speed and high power for normal operation. The secondary drive, or pony drive, can be run at low speed and low power, usually to position the conveyor for maintenance. The overrunning clutch allows the secondary drive to remain stationary during normal high-speed operation of the conveyor drive. Indexing, an indexing motion provides for accuracy in the drive system. A link is installed between the prime mover and one race of the Sprague clutch. The reciprocating motion of the prime mover is converted to an indexing movement on the other race of the Sprague clutch. Backstopping Backstopping prevents a loaded inclined conveyor from running back when the drive system is stopped. The outer race of the Sprague clutch is fixed to the machine frame, usually via a torque arm. The inner race rotates freely in the forward direction of the conveyor drive. When the machine tries to run backward, the Sprague clutch prevents this motion. In this application the Sprague clutch is often called a backstop, or hold back. Hoist load brake a hoist load brake is used as a secondary brake to prevent industrial hoists from catastrophically dropping their loads in the event of mechanical failure. Lubrication. Sprag clutches may be oil or grease lubricated. Most Sprag clutch manufacturers do not allow the use of lubricants containing extreme pressure additives. See also, ratchet, slipper clutch. References. External links.